Yeah. Yeah. You see my Do you see my screen? Yeah. Yes, Prabhuji. Okay, so well, let's get started. <clears throat> so today we are going to discuss about Srila Prabhupada. Uh, I hope you all know Srila Prabhupada. Who is Srila Prabhupada? Anyone want to say? He's the founder of Acharya of ISKCON. Yeah. He's the one who started ISKCON. Uh, in the West, especially. Yeah, okay. So let's uh, get started. <clears throat> He's the... Um... So before Srila Prabhupada, many, uh, many you know, very famous people came to the West, like Vivekananda, uh, Chinmayananda, uh, Paramahamsa Yogananda, at least uh, half a dozen spiritual teachers uh, have come and they have given their teachings. Uh, however, if you see the impact in terms of creating people who actually follow the principles of teachings of Gita, we see, you know, there is no comparison. Srila Prabhupada had made real Sanatana Dharma followers and, you know, who actually follow, understand the teachings of Gita. Uh, even though there were you know, about 800 editions of Gita before Srila Prabhupada. Um, only after Srila Prabhupada edition was available to the Western world, people started being able to follow the teachings of Gita. And uh, it's because he was presenting the whole thing in a Guru Parampara system compared to the way it was presented before, you know, by various leaders. And because of his purity, he was able to really touch the hearts of people and uh, make them follow the instructions of Lord Krishna. So uh, here in this session today, we are going to discuss about Srila Prabhupada because it is very purifying to learn about a pure devotee of Lord. Just like uh, we learn about Lord Krishna it is also equally uh, purifying to learn about great teachers who have uh, given the shared the wisdom of you know the Vedic knowledge to the world. Uh, and it is only because of Srila Prabhupada, you know, especially like people like us, we're able to connect to the uh, purpose of life today, right? Uh, so it is. It is very uh, important for us to learn his life story, his mission, and overall, uh, you know, his contributions to the world. So we 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 develop gratitudes for what he has done for the world and us specifically, right? <clears throat> so in this, uh, you know, in this material by His Grace Radhesham Prabhu, so there are these achievements listed in the beginning. Uh, these are the overall, you know, high-level achievements that he has, you know, uh, during his lifetime. And then uh, actually, you know, going to his life, his childhood, marriage, how he met his spiritual master, and then how he led as a grihasthal, you know, and then how he took up Vanuprastha and Sanyas, and finally how he came to the West. And spread the you know the moment of Krishna consciousness all over the world from the West. So that is all given here. So just to uh, you know discuss a few aspects here, which are very uh, important, or uh, you know which are very interesting. I mean, by the way, you can ask questions anytime. 
So Srila Prabhupada was born in 1896. It's not given here. It's given somewhere in his childhood, I think. Uh, <clears throat> and he started the ISKCON movement after coming to the West in 1965. He came to the West almost at the age of, um, you know, I think close to 70 years. Because he's born in uh, 1896. He came to West in 1965. Almost 70 years is when uh, he came and he started the movement. And when he came, he doesn't have any money. He came with a, with a trunk of Bhagavatam printed copies. And 40 Indian rupees. You can imagine. That's all he had. And he doesn't know, he doesn't know anybody. Uh, he doesn't have any family. He doesn't, he was not authorized by government as an ambassador to here. The only reason he came was to fulfill the mission of his spiritual master, a guru, Bhakti Siddhan Savastakur. So we'll hear about that. But what has happened over the next 11 years, from 65 to 76, 77, until when he uh, was there on the planet, was just nothing short of miracle. Now, there is nothing in history before that or after that like that. He just created a worldwide movement. And nobody he doesn't have anything to really attract, uh, I mean, to really uh, pay people or anything. He, he just attracted every. All this happened because of his purity and his loving care and his message to the world, right? Uh, and his dependence on Krishna and his uh, dependence on the holy name. So that's all. It's all. He was just an instrument and Lord Krishna manifested the whole uh, thing that has you know happened. Yeah. So you can see here um, some of the things <clears throat> in his life. Um, so he's he sent his followers, uh, you know, every nook and corner. He, he didn't just uh, stick to America. Almost every major city in the world was, uh, you know, influenced during his time. He sent his, uh, you know, disciples there and they were able to, you know, uh, start a center or a temple. And in his lifetime, he started about 108 temples. And he went around six continents and installed deities of Krishna in every center all over the world. You can imagine people in the world don't even know what is Krishna, right? Who is Krishna? Uh, it's all until then was just limited to India, the understanding of who is Lord Krishna. But he was, he has such faith that the Vedic knowledge has the right answer and solution to the world's uh, critical problems. He was able to, with that conviction, he was able to go forward and spread this uh, Krishna consciousness all over the world. Yeah. Uh, and he initiated Radhayatra festival in all major cities across the globe. It happens in London, it happens in New York, it happens in Seattle, everywhere. Every year, there is a Ratha procession in the main city road, everywhere. In Hyderabad, in of course, in Delhi, everywhere. Um, so that's another, you know, uh, special thing that he had done, you know. He um, he introduced the concept of Sunday love feast, and where sanctified food prasadam is distributed to millions for free all over the world, and in in each center there will be this uh, Sunday love feast celebrated where uh, you know. Uh, people come together in the temple. They uh, they hear from Bhagavad Gita or Bhagavatam, and uh, you know they chant and they participate in kirtan, 
and then they discuss with each other uh, krishna consciousness and uh, they eat together and create a you know very nice family atmosphere uh, and you know develop good uh, good relations and then you know that would charge them for the whole week and again they come back and uh, you know so the, this is the model of love feast that he started to our understanding temple means we just go there you know uh, just pay our prayers and you know uh, take some little prasadam they give either you know some uh, sh sugar candy pieces or so that is the understanding of temple for most of us until you know we have met a uh, or we went to a hari krishna temple but the temple hari krishna temple iskon temples are very special they are, they are filled with devotees there is you know um, there are various services one can be engaged anybody you know from irrespective of their caste creed anything country color uh, they can come engage in various services eat nicely you know develop friendships it's like a home for most people you know he created such a uh, atmosphere with this and when he was there he also created this govindas vegetarian restaurants all over the world at the time vegetarianism is not uh, you know prominent at all but in major cities we have govindas vegetarian restaurant nowadays uh, and then he delivered so the biggest contribution of shil propad was his uh, books he has translated shrimad bhagavatam the 18 cantos into english uh by you know preserving the teachings of all the acharyas of the past that is the biggest contribution and if you look at the book it is way different than any other books on the same subject the reason is you take bhagavad gita you see for each shloka of bhagavad gita there is word to word translation translation and then purport if you go to go see any other book generally they they don't include word to word translation but he is quite insistent on that because then people know authoritatively this is actually what is given there right so when you see the word to word translation it's like a science book you know what what is given there uh, but you know most other books won't have such a so that's why it is it gives authority to the book and the way same thing he had done for bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrita and many other books bhakti literature brahma samhita ishopanishad all the important books that he has presented were all given in the same uh, way and where there is translation where is where there is sanskrit word to word translation actual translation and then purport and almost while he was establishing this movement for 11 years you know especially you know in the america uh, he would spend all his day time meeting various devotees teaching them uh, training them building you know uh, temples sending devotees all over the world and more importantly he would focus the, all of his evening from 8 o'clock in the night till morning 6 o'clock he would focus on writing the books translating translating the books bhagavad gita bhagavatam chaitanya charitamrita all these have come almost 90 books he has authored uh, or you know transliterated right? he would dictate in uh, in a dictaphone and his disciples would you know uh, later translate into english so that is how he has he was able to accomplish uh, so many you know he was able to complete so many books uh, so he had really had sleepless nights almost would sleep couple of hours a day that is his schedule couple of hours a day rest of the 10 hours in the night would be just focused on giving the books for all of us so when we get a book of prabhupad we should remember this 
so that we will be inspired to read how much hard work he has done for us. Right? Um, and he presents his book in a very simple and easy to follow way. Right? We would have, he would have read you know, Bhagavad Gita that was given to you. It's very easy, scientific, uh, backed up by you know verses. Whatever he says is not his words. It is already in you know a teaching of parampara. So in that way, you know whatever he is speaking, speaking is all authoritative, right? Uh, <clears throat> so he has also done scores of interviews and philosophical discussion with scientists, religious leaders, politicians. All world well-known dignitaries, celebrities like Indira Gandhi, Allen Ginsberg, Ravi Shankar, you know, uh, John Lennon of Beatles, George Harrison. So all these famous people, uh, uh, you know, he would meet them during the daytime, inspire them to take to Krishna consciousness, and they also manage, you know, worldwide movement. So this is what his life was all about in the last 11 years. Right? He also recorded music, you can see here. So there are about 20 albums of devotional music. And if you hear Srila Prabhupada, you can see it's very powerful. Uh, I was very attracted to that in the beginning days. And he published a monthly magazine called Back to Godhead that he started even before the ISKCON movement while he was in India itself. And he would uh, distribute this uh, in the beginning. Uh, he would, you know, print the copies, write, and then distribute also. But you know, when he was in the West, at the height of uh, circulation, or a million copies would be sold per issue. It's like every month there is a million copies of it would be distributed all over the world. Yeah. And then, yeah, he started major temples in Mumbai, Vrindavana. Uh, and the in the Mayapur, that was the headquarters of ISKCON, was a large land where uh, they had a very large, beautiful temple. Now the temple is being even expanded with uh, uh, the new temple called Temple of Vedic Planetorium. You might have heard about it that is still under construction, expected to be finished in a couple more years. Uh, and it is a, it's going to be a very monumental uh, uh, pilgrimage spot for the world. Even today, almost 10,000 people visit on a single day, any day, Mayapur, where Srila Prabhupada established the main uh, the temple, which, uh, and uh, the deities there were called Panchatattva, the Lord Chaitanya, uh, Nityananda Prabhu, and Advaita Acharya, Srivas Thakur, and uh, so all these five principal deities were established there. Yadada Pandit. Yeah. So he also focused on primary schools, you know, where children will be educated with Vedic values, right? And the principles of devotion at a very young age. And not only that, he covered everything you can imagine, right? So he founded Bhakti Vedanta Institute to advance Krishna consciousness within scientific community. So this institute exists in Calcutta and uh, at least four or five places where and they have tied up with uh, you know major universities like Mumbai University uh, like that and they conduct research on you know Vedic wisdom and they even offer uh, PhDs. Nowadays, if uh, you know, uh, if you are interested in philosophical studies, uh, so that is there. Yeah, and then he also you know established the, a charity trust to renovate holy places of Lord Chaitanya's pastimes in uh, in in Mayapur. And he established many farm communities to teach simple living and high thinking, right? And emphasizing on cow protection and dependence on God and nature. So there were many, many farm communities. Even now, there are some very famous ones in, in Europe. Uh, even here in the West, there are many farm communities. 
uh, yeah. See, when Harulash Maharaj here was inspired by that, and we have a couple of farms here in Aban as well as uh, in Redmond, we have nice farms with cows. Uh, if you, you know, you can visit sometime. And we all should visit, I think, one, once. We'll do that. Okay. There were fate museums started during Prabhupada's time where uh, they present philosophy with with uh, dolls. Yeah, and then yeah, so this is what we discussed already. Yeah, he circled glow 14 times, visiting 24 countries, preaching, inspiring his followers and making countless public, public appearances before multitude of people. Yeah. Uh, he skillfully managed his international society simply through letters and personal meetings, virtually without use of telephone. In those days, there is no mobile, there is no cell phone, right? So even there was telephone that he would not use that much. He would be happy to write letters. He would di dictate and, you know, one of his disciples would write it and send it. Yeah. So Prabhupada would say this. Poverty means poverty of knowledge. Srila Prabhupada would always say he, his conviction was that humanity was lacking in spiritual knowledge which was essential for achieving real happiness in life. Right? His vision therefore was that of a global east-west synthesis based on the proverbial blind man lame man story. India is rich in spiritual knowledge. The western world is rich in material uh, things. If East and West come together and the spiritual wisdom is spread all over the world, then the Western world can see the benefit of spiritual life in their life. right? Uh, uh, because otherwise they are materially blinded. Even though there is so much progress, still people go through so much you know, crisis in their life because of lack of spirituality. Uh, but if uh, the Eastern wisdom is taken seriously and you know followed by the West, then it is best for the both, right? Yeah. So now these these are some of his achievements. Uh, any questions on this so far in what we discussed? Okay, so let's go is the life period overall. Let's go go over that. So Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada, he was born in 1896. It is much before the freedom. Right? So he was born in Calcutta and uh, when he was four years old, there was a big plague spreading all over Calcutta. Right? Uh, at the time, um, people were very religious and uh, <clears throat> a Babaji organized a Sankirtan, Hare Krishna Sankirtan, all over Calcutta. He was born in Calcutta, right? So, regardless of religion, Hindus, Muslims, Christians and Parsis, everybody joined. Because that time, British was ruling the country. Uh, there were, you know, a lot of... Um, uh, you know, uh, Britishers in the in every city and village in those days. Uh, it's a true cosmopolitan everywhere. Uh, so they were all there, but everybody you know participated in Sankirtan, and even though Abai was only four years, that was the first time he was also participate. He also participated in chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Um, so when the Sankirtan party came uh, to Prabhupada's home, his father's name is Gaur Mohande. He received them. Uh, so he, Prabhupada was only a four-year-old boy. He would also join the party. Uh, that was his first introduction. And later on, the, the plague subsided. Uh, nobody 
was affected in Prabhupada's family. Yeah. And uh, the way he was raised, so early morning, um, his father was a devout Vaishnava, pure devotee of Lord. And he had deities at home. And Gaur Mohande, uh, of course, he was a pure vegetarian. In the morning, he would ring the bell right, to the to wake up the Lord at 5 a.m. in the morning. And uh, Prabhupada and his sister, you know, his younger sister, Bhavatarini, they would also wake up to the bells of his, you know, his father ringing. And, uh, you know, uh, that is how his life would begin, you know, at a very young age. So he was from his very beginning. He was raised in a very you know spiritual environment. Hmm? Yeah. His father was a cloth merchant, and uh, he was a very devoted person. He, you know, he would keep a bowl of rice in the middle of floor at his shop, so that the rats would not. You know, eat the cloth. It just uh, it just shows that he cares a very living entity, right? not just uh, people in nowadays. They just uh, somehow rat, put the rat, rat traps and kill them. But here he was. He just was believer of you know Sarvejana Sukuna Bhavantu. Uh, so he just uh, arranged for the living and so that they don't bother us, right? So his father would read scriptures like Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, chant on beats, worship the deity, and all of this would be watched by Abhe, who was only four years old at the time, right? very young boy. So he was raised in a very nice spiritual culture like that. And sometimes... <clears throat> Uh, he, uh, yeah. So his mother, because they are seeing the Britishers all over them, um, he wanted Prabhupada to become a liar, and he wanted she wanted her son to go to Briti, uh, Britain and you know become a barrister there, study there in London and come back as a big liar. She thought, you know, who would really, really, you know, what is the value of uh, the spiritual culture and all, right? She was never a believer of that. But Prabhupada's father, uh, Gaur Mohande, he had a clear plan. He wanted Prabhupada to become a great devotee. He wanted him to uh, speak Srimad Bhagavatam, sing bhajans. So he would arrange for a professional Mridanga player to come and teach Prabhupada. Yeah. So he never believed in European lifestyle. Right? Of course, you can do any job, but uh, he wouldn't uh, believe in the culture because he had seen the people around him. Uh, because they were more focused on, you know, drinking or you know, um, or other illicit activities. Yeah. So in the childhood, uh, sometimes he, you know, he would go along with his sister to his maternal uncle's place. They would come together and hear uh, Lord's transcendental pastimes from Srimad Bhagavatam. And in this way, he would always, you know, from his childhood, uh, he had very nice spiritual engagements, you know, all his childhood life. Yeah. And uh, there was the, there was a temple at, at at a you know one of the family friends' place, Malik's temple, and they would go there as well. And uh, while playing, also they would remember Krishna. That is how much they were. You know, remembering Krishna. Sometimes even when playing kite, you know, you can just run and, you know, raise the kite, right? So they would pray, please Krishna, help us fly this kite. So like that, from his very childhood, he was 
very much focused devotionally. Yeah. So another thing that happened as a child was uh, one time he organized uh, Radhyatra, inspired by the Puri Radhyatra. And he was only five-year-old boy. Uh, so he would request all the neighbors to prepare nice bhoga for uh, you know Jagannath. And he would you know request his father to arrange for a big cart. You can see the cart here, the picture here. He would make a uh, you know almost a perfect replica of Puri Jagannath, you know, Radhyatta cart. He would bring, you know, purchase the required wooden material and, you know, uh, make it and also put, paint it by himself. Uh, in this way, he makes a beautiful cart. He would also insist that there are horses for the cart, just like, you know, Puri uh, Ratha has carts, uh, sorry, uh, horses in the front. So he would uh, make sure when that is there. In this way, he made a perfect uh, arrangement for the Ratha cart, you know, arranged the deities. And he inspired all the young boys in the community to join him. And he made all the cooking arrangements. He was just, you know, you can imagine he's just a boy of five years at this time. And this way, he had this natural leadership qualities at a very young age. And this Radhyatra was conducted for eight days. And uh, not only just the boys of his years, all the families around him were also joined him. They also joined him. And, and uh, they all celebrated together. It was a very, uh, you know, beautiful moment of celebration of Radhyatra for everybody. Yeah. And at, a, at the age of six years, he would request his father to give him a deity of Lord Krishna to worship for himself. You can imagine how he was uh, devoted at a very young age itself. So he purchased a pair of Radha Krishna deities, his father, and gifted him. Uh, in this way, he was from a very young age, he was you know, connected to Lord Krishna. Right? Because it comes from previous life. It's not, you know, starting at this life. And then um, now he is a six-year-old, right? Yeah. And then he went to European-led education in Scottish Church College. At the time, it is a very famous one. Many uh, Indian families would send their children there. Uh, so he graduated in 1920s with a major in English, philosophy, and economics. These are the three subjects. However, he didn't accept the certificate. He rejected because he uh, India, uh, so India was very much um, under the Gandhi's in independence movement at the time. And uh, Gandhi did many things like, you know, non-cooperation, uh, such movements, and so he didn't. He had this um, negative uh, thing towards Western education, and so uh, that was a movement at the time. So many people have rejected the degrees. Prabhupada also was influenced by Gandhi's movement, so he also gave up uh, his degree. Right. Uh, yeah, but. Even though he was a serious student at, at the college, uh, sometimes he would tell his friend Rupen, Rupendranath Mitra, that you know he was not very interested in the um, you know Western education, which develops only you know uh, scholastic achievement, you know just for material well-being. Yeah. But he was very interested in studying philosoph Western philosophers and scientists. But he was never fascinated by them because he understood the, the Vaishnava training that he has received through his father as well as, you know, through the teachers that he had met. Uh, he, he, had, 
you had clarity that Vedic wisdom is far superior to anything that the rest of the world can offer. Right? Yeah. So in 1918, at 22 years of age, he married uh, Radharani Devi, at which time, you know, she was only 11 year old. This is the standard in those days, right? It's almost more than 100 years, 106 years. Yeah. And in 1920, Mahatma Gandhi announced a non-cooperation movement. Uh, we all know in history. Uh, at the time, Prabhupada was very inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, and uh, Mahatma Gandhi called for giving up English education, English court, and English manufactured goods. Right. So this is the non-cooperation movement. Uh, many great people gave up their positions. One of them is Nehru, Rajendra Prasad. They're all very well-known uh, people who have, you know, taken up big, big positions in British government. They all gave up their positions, inspired by them. Even Prabhupada joined them, right? Yeah. So he started wearing khadi, uh, but this is in 1920, he met uh, Gandhi. But after that, in 1922, his name is Abhay Charan. Uh, Prabhupada's name was Abhay Charan. He met his spiritual master, Bhakti Siddhan Savastakur, Goswami Prabhupada. But, and this meeting has changed the course of his life. We'll see how he met. Right? So Abhay Charan, uh, he had a friend by the name Narendranath Malik. So one time, uh, so he took Narendra Manal Malik, he took Prabhupada, he, he asked him, let's go meet this, you know, guru who had, you know, come here uh, from Mayapur, right? So Prabhupada is in Calcutta. Uh, Mayapur is a, you know, four hour flying from Calcutta. Uh, so his guru had come to uh, Calcutta uh, from Mayapur. So he uh, insisted, let's go and meet. Prabhupada was not very interested because uh, he had seen that, you know, a lot of these gurus, they're not, they're not really sincere followers of Vedic teachings. So he doesn't have, uh, you know, good faith at the time because in his childhood, he had seen his father bring so many gurus would not follow good, you know, principles also properly. Yeah. But when he met, uh, so he took his a friend asked, he was reluctant, but then his friend insisted. So finally, they both went and met uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Sostakur. The minute he met, immediately Bhakti Siddhanta Sostakur told one instruction. He said, hey, why don't you you both were educated young men. Why don't you preach the message of Lord Krishna all over the world? So these are the exact words that he heard when he must, before even they talk to each other or know about anything about each other, this is the first instruction that he heard. Of course, this became his lifelong instruction for you know at a later time. Uh, but that is what happened uh, in his first meeting. But Abhay Charan Prabhupada, he would not have, you know, uh, faith in these words of at the time because he's just met him for the first time and he's asking him to teach Gita all over the world. Uh, so he would not, he would wonder why at this time because India is under subjugation of the West. If you are yourself subjugated, who would listen to you, whatever you say, right? So that was Prabhupada's understanding and argument. So he would say to Bhakti Sinamas Thakur, Sir, uh, today India is subjugated by British. Who would listen to, you know, Vedic, Vedic, uh, you know, Vedic knowledge? To that, Bhakti Sinamas Thakur said, 
Krishna consciousness cannot wait for the change of politics. The political leadership comes and goes. Today, it is British. In the past, it was French. Before that, it was Mughals. Before that, somebody else, some other country. So, and after this also, there will be many other people who would come and rule. And that should not stop, you know, the Krishna consciousness movement. Krishna consciousness cannot wait for, you know, the change of politics. And it is so important that it cannot wait for any other thing. It has to start now and right now. And, and it is also independent of who is the ruler. It doesn't matter. Uh, it, this has to continue and spread. Yeah. So when he heard that, he, you know, because he, Prabhupada was a very uh, intelligent person, you know, generally he would never be defeated in an argument. But for the first time, he felt a bit defeated in his argument. But he was very happy that he was defeated because he felt the Krishna conscious movement was in the right hands. And, uh, you know, he accepted Bhakti Siddhanta Sarvash Thakur as his guru in his heart. Right? Yeah, and then, of course, yeah, he moved on. He, he already was married. He has children by this time. Um, and he was doing pharmacy business. Uh, so he established this Prayag Pharmacy in Allahabad. Um, so, yeah. But even though he was doing business, uh, his guru has, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarvash Thakur, he established a Gaudiya Mat. It's like a temple of, uh, you know, uh, Gaudiya or, you know, uh, the the uh, teachings of Lord Chaitanya uh, uh, in the in the Calcutta, in, in, sorry, in Allah, Allahabad. And he would be helping there. Uh, Abhay Charande, uh, Srila Prabhupada would help uh, with the mission of his spiritual master through financial help and, you know, teaching uh, in, in, in anything possible, he would help there. Right. Yeah, in this way. So, the, so uh, while, you know, he could not, he could not, of course, because uh, he was already married, he could not uh, give up uh, his family life. Right. He was balancing both family life as well as taking care of uh, his spiritual master's Gaudiya Mat. Yeah. So he wrote to Bhaktisiddhanta Stockur in December 1936, humbly seeking if he could offer some more direct service. So in 1936, he wrote a letter. And he was also initiated in the, I think, uh, in 1933, he was initiated in. Uh, uh, yeah, and his name was changed to Abhay Charanar Vandadas. Right? So, very close to his previous name. Yeah. And then he would contribute to the, uh, the mission there in his city. So, he wrote a letter, Prabhupada wrote a letter to his guru in 1936. He received a reply on December 31st, 1936. To his astonishment, the letter reiterated the same order he had been given in 1922. So 1922 is when he met his guru for the first time uh, in, in Kolkata when he came to visit there. And after almost 14 years, he hears the same instruction. You try to preach whatever you have learned from me to the English-speaking people of the world. Okay? So that will be good for you and for the people to whom you preach. So this is my instruction. Uh, his And his guru passed away in 1936. You can imagine. So that was his final instruction to Prabhupada. 
and Prabhupada was very clear. Now, he, he heard this mission for a couple of times. In the beginning of his journey of spiritual life, as well as at the end, his spiritual master instructed the same thing. Uh, so he was on this mission. So as a grihastha, uh, of course, he was he had children and a business. Along with that, he would take care of, you know, do services in Gaudiya Math that was established by his uh, spiritual master in uh, Allahabad. And he was also interested in writing. So he continued, uh, you know, he started this magazine called Back to Godhead magazine, where he would write articles from Srimad Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita and teach to the world uh, the importance of spiritual life, right? So he would do that. Yeah. So in 1944, the year then when he started his magazine, uh, there was Second World War at the time. There was acute shortage of paper and government would not sanction any paper for anybody outside, right? So he wrote, you know, letters to government and government finally sanctioned, you know, some paper for Back to Godhead magazine. Yeah. So most people were not interested in spiritual life at the time because people were subjugated under the British rule and, you know, British culture was very prominent. India lost its Vedic value system because of continued um, rulership by, you know, the external forces. Uh, but he was on this mission. Yeah. So one time, uh, you know, at, uh, uh, he established a you know a temple in Jansi, a center in Jansi, called League of Devotees. Uh, but unfortunately, in India, uh, spiritual life was not taking up taken up by people seriously. And people are after best. They're so enamored by you know America and Europe. Uh, they would try their ways and you know means of life. They were not very serious. Yeah. So he was also, you know, even though he was a businessman uh, from day, in the daytime, he was he would scrutinizingly study all the Vedic scriptures every day, uh, <clears throat> and he was conferred the title Bhakti Vedanta, one who understand that one who realizes the devotion service to the Lord is the highest of all realization and knowledge. Okay. So he was conferred because of his scholarship and understanding and realization. Then, you know, this is when he was a grihastha. Then, you know, vanaprastha life, which is, you know, when he was 57. Uh, after Abed decided to retire from family life um, and take to more spiritual life, by you know spreading the wisdom of Gita and Bhagavatam. Yeah, so in 1954, so he moved to the holy town of Vrindavan uh, at the temple of Radha Damodar Mandir, where he would focus on writing Bhagavatam translations. Bhagavatam is you know 1800 verses. So he would uh, stay there, meditate on uh, his guru and all the other acharyas, pray to them. Uh, he was just, you know, empowering himself to spread the message of, you know, Bhagavatam all over the world. So he would stay there for a few years where he would focus on authoring and, you know, chanting and, you know, uh, deep meditation to empower himself to uh, practice, you know, to basically fulfill the mission of that he has, his guru had given. Yeah. So in 1959, after five years of moving to Vrindavan, he took sannyas, wow, 
फ्रॉम हिज गॉड ब्रदर भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव महाराज इन दी मथुरा इन नियर डेली ही वॉज अवार्डेड ने भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी लेटर ही वॉज नोन एज शेल प्रोपा ए लविंग टाइटल कॉल्ड बाई डिसेप्ल्स टू स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर आउट ऑफ रेफरेंस या there after he took up residence in vrindavana the land of krishna's birth after some years he occupied a room in radha damodar temple while living there though almost penniless and sometimes only eating every other day so at that time india was very poor uh, today you know you get something everywhere in vrindavan but uh, he continued focusing on writing chanting and distributing his magazine uh so he's in this way he spent about 6 years further from there you know put, putting all his energy into shrimad bhagavatam translation after you know getting ready three volumes of shrimad bhagavatam he felt now he is ready to take on the mission of his guru that you know almost was given to him 40 years back correct Uh, 1922 so he decided to travel to america to fulfill the mission now he is almost 60 years sorry 70 years uh, 65 plus 4 years now uh, 1896 is born so 69 years so at this time he decided to travel to america um so even to he could not even afford a flight ticket so he goes to a you know one of the uh, um shipping company's chief her name is sumati morarji in mumbai he goes to her to ask for a seat in a cargo ship by the name jaladuta and sumati morarji would be surprised you know you are such an old man why do you want to go at this time uh, and it's the weather there will be very bad and you may you may risk your life propad would not budge he says this is the mission of my guru and i have to fulfill this mission uh, to spread the wisdom of you know vedic scriptures in the west and ultimately he would board the jaladuta ship to boston harbor so between 25th august 1965 and 30th august the jaladuta journal so propad would always write down what he is doing every day so in his diary it was silent nothing was written for 6 days on 7th day 31st august the silence is broken with these simple words passed over a great crisis on the struggle for life and death so in the first 6 days of his journey he had sea sickness and that caused even heart attacks so he had two heart attacks if he had one more heart attack you can imagine so he would have died but uh so one may wonder you know how much struggle he had gone through for spreading the wisdom on the mission of his guru right uh, so after the six days something great happened so he was you know taking rest at the time in his dream all the incarnations of lord you know lord krishna jagannath narsimha vamana all these incarnations have you know appeared in his dream and they mentioned that we are smooth sailing this boat from here on in fact you know how um, the 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 ocean currents how strong the ocean currents are you might have heard i have a relative who works in uh, you know as a captain in you know in cargo ships ocean currents are extremely turbulent and people who travel they you know it's not easy they won't get any sleep at all you know 
it's high tides are extremely powerful uh, especially in the middle of the ocean uh, it's it will be a restless life all the journey of few months that they pick the cargo and you know drop in the destination surprisingly the whole ocean drive from sixth day onwards until the day they landed in boston harbor was the most smoothest journey as uh, you know the captain of the ship explains later so all the incarnations of lord have appeared in his dream of shil propath and assured that uh, they will be taking care of the rest of the journey right so he was always talking to lord krishna you know sharing his mind you can see here in his diary what he has written today i have disclosed my mind to my companion lord krishna yeah on this occasion and on number of others he called on krishna for help so he is uh, he has direct relation and connection with krishna hmm so on while on the board on jaladuta he wrote like this i do not know why you have brought me here he is speaking to lord krishna now you can do whatever you like me like with me but i guess you have some business here otherwise why would you bring me to this terrible place how will i make them understand in western people understand this message of krishna consciousness i am very unfortunate unqualified and most fallen therefore i am seeking your benediction so that i can convince them for i am powerless to do so on my own so in this way propad would pray to lord krishna continuously uh, to empower himself to spread the mission of uh, of krishna consciousness all over the world yeah so after coming to new york city he had no place he doesn't know where to go luckily in the beginning you know there was one family who we knew uh, for 3 months he had a stay he would go there and uh, you know stay with the family uh, and he would go and uh, you know chant and later on he moved to new york tompkins square park where he would under a tree would go and chant the holy name kirtan he would perform a kirtan you can see the picture here and lot of people would be attracted to it so that is how it started with the kirtan then prabhupad started um, you know uh, like distributing cooking prasadam for them and you know he wouldn't have any money you know whatever money these people give he would use that money to buy some fruits vegetables rice cook for them and distribute them in the beginning he would even uh wash their plates because the people around here who are all attracted to prabhupad they were all hippies they don't know anything they are all counter culture people they take to drugs they take to you know all you know uh, drugs sex all these are all quite common there in that cultural uh, setting a uh, prabhupad here is a pure devotee we had come on the mission of his guru uh elderly gentleman uh he would give them you know shelter love care teach them vedic teachings and you know feed them nice prasadam right uh so in this way he had shown so much love he had deep bengali accent which is not easy for them to understand but because they have trusted him they have loved him they would be with him they want to be with him they understood the purity of prabhupad and the depth of his teachings and they just wanted to be with him so in this way everybody saw prabhupad's you know um prabhupad's purity and prabhupad would chant hari krishna mantra and let them chant they their life would transform immediately as soon as you know they start chanting the hari krishna maha mantra in this way they realized uh, you know the power and potency of mantra hari krishna maha mantra and everybody joined him and the thing started spreading very fast right uh, so 
so he would teach a class as well in the town you know in the second avenue new york uh, bhakti vedam swami conducted classes on bhagavad gita in the beginning there are only like 10 people you know just like the size of our class that is how the movement started uh, within a year you know 1966 there were you know alan the famous poet alan ginsberg would come there and many people would be attracted um so they were you know slowly started spreading uh yeah so and they have given up all the bad habits that were that they were having like drugs you know illicit relations uh, they gave up all of that and started leading a pure personal life right that was a big shock because that time during the counter culture years this is the biggest headache for the us government 1960s and 70s where people you know the young generations have rejected the society and they are uh, completely out of control but propads entry into that arena in new york he came exactly the place where all this is happening and is he completely transformed these people into the best people in the society right which the government itself appreciated because this is exactly what they want but they couldn't do right um, so 1967 66 propad conducted initiation ceremony you may not understand what is spiritual uh, initiation it's called diksha diksha means it is a time when a disciple is accepted accepted by the guru bona fide guru in a sampradaya like propad comes under gaudiya vaishnava sampradaya so he accepted the american disciples as you know at the time uh, and after initiation at the time of initiation the guru takes away all the sinful reactions of the of the disciple right now they are a pure uh they are very basically purified now they would continue the spiritual life by chanting the holy name every day prescribed number of rounds in our case you know we chant about 16 rounds every day after initiation uh and then follow the four regulative principles uh in this way you get you are in the process of purification after this yeah so <clears throat> so he so that was the first initiation and then after that uh so yeah so he participated in music festivals there you know he would go to any any place just to be able to spread the wisdom of you know vedas you know, any opportunity uh, he would participate in debates wherever people ask you know he would go there he would speak to people uh, he would go to universities he would go to uh, you know uh, speak to prominent people tv stations yeah so in this way uh, so he he created about 108 temples not himself with the with the american disciples uh, you know all these people they don't have any money anything just depending on lord krishna and uh, the earnings from you know distributing the books of shrila prabhupad these were the you know uh, funding sources and using which they were able to you know start about 108 temples many farm communities you know many schools many restaurants uh, vegetarian restaurants and proper of also gave about you know 90 books uh, in this way so propad fulfilled the mission of his guru you know that he asked to spread the krishna conscious movement all over the world uh so propad finally you know passed away to the eternal abode of lord krishna on 14 november 1977 in vrindavan so uh, india so his samadhi remains in krishna balaram mandir at the same place so if you visit uh, vrindavan iskon temple you will see uh, his samadhi as well yeah so till he was translating shrimad bhagavatam till his very last days lying on bed in the frail condition of his body 
for him it is very clear where he is going next he is going to krishna it's 100% clear so he is like a soldier giving his last uh drop of energy to krishna's service so this is how a devotee lives it's one may wonder why why he is working so hard you know what is the but if you love somebody you would do you know something to really please them that is the mission he was on right if you love somebody how do you you know express your love you express through service prabhupada loved krishna so much that uh, he has given all his you know last 10 years of his life fully to krishna and created this worldwide movement where he was able to fulfill the desire of his spiritual master yeah and his legacy continues today today we have about almost 1000 temples all over the world you can imagine and uh, many many more preaching centers restaurants you know uh, what not like the so its movement is only spreading faster and wider because it is founded on very strong teachings of you know the parampara uh, so the movement is only uh, growing and growing now you know uh, in almost all western uh, western state uh, western states we have temples you go to any city you will have uh, you know many followers you know temples where you get nice vegetarian meal uh, and you know a lot of friends you know last week last weekend we were at sadhu sangha we met almost uh, 3000 plus people 3000 uh, you know practitioners of krishna consciousness yeah so it's only getting better with the moment so that that's all you know we we wanted to discuss for today so any questions comments i hope it was an interesting thing for all of us to learn about shri prabhupada no questions do we chant do we chant no yeah anindita you want to... yeah prabhu ji one question i have so uh, thank you so much for sharing the details with us it's very informative and very inspiring so i would love to know like uh, as as we are seeing like he started spirituality from childhood right so he had that setup right so from his childhood the people who don't have it from from their childhood right so what they could do right uh, according to sri la prabhupad what do you think yeah it, it doesn't matter we luckily we started at some point some people start in 60s some people start in start in 30s you all started in 20s so it's it's good as long as it started uh, it should continue from here on it's a journey a journey of lifetimes it is possible that you would have done in the, in your past life already now that you know is you are starting whatever happens in spiritual life continues for lifetimes the credit will continue uh, through multiple lifetimes so it doesn't matter one lifetime is enough to perfect our life even though you start late right uh, yep. all that matters is whether you are fully krishna conscious at the time of death and uh, there are devotees who perfected their life by being krishna conscious for a very short moment of lifetime like parikshit maharaj focused 100% of his uh, life on krishna consciousness in the last 7 days he perfected his life so it doesn't matter we start wherever whatever and we continue from there sure thank you prabhu ji any other questions could we chant one round no but uh, Or is it a little late for you guys? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. Sure. 
takes only five, six minutes. Let's do it. You can all, uh, you know, carry your beads. Jai Sri Krishna Jai Bhima Pramod Chama Sri Vaid Garama Shri Vasti Ghaur Bhakta Bhima Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Reeks, Reeks, Nixon, Nixon, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Reeks, Reeks, Nixon, Nixon, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, Reeks, Nixon, Nixon, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, Reeks, Nixon, Nixon, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Hari <laughs> Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. Reeks, the Reeks, Nix, Nix, the Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari. 
Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Okay thank you all very much for joining today so one more week we will not have in person class because next week also we don't have room uh after that we'll resume the classroom sessions and we have a very nice visitor coming up um, you know the week after next week so thank you all for joining online okay so we'll end with mm -hmm. here thank you all very much hari krishna thank you prabhu hari krishna thank you prabhu hari krishna thank you prabhu hari krishna hari krishna thank you prabhu hari krishna hari krishna See you all next week. Thanks.